Last night before I go to sleep, I noticed the change in the harmonic tremors of the Grindavik area. A sudden dip, and then early morning, a big rise, and then falling down. I published a video about this immediately. Rise in the land again, falling down. Earthquakes and rise in the land showed the magma was there, and presto, magma was there. This is the big bang in 758. That was the eruption started. Soon it passed and sliced through like a zipper, like a knife, like a sword, through the wall that we built over the past few weeks around the Grindavik to protect it. And it is sliced through like knife through the butter or cheese, depending what cheese you are using. And then again, another fissure opened slightly more to the south. That one was in Hagerfell. This one almost touching the Grindavik. And when it actually erupted more, and you can see spatter cones formed, the lava flow from it followed the natural deep slope toward the southwest and entered the Grindavik. The first street, the first houses were burnt in this way. This gave us opportunity actually to go through the Coast Guard and monitor and survey the area. And we prepared the first maps. As you can see, two fissures from Hagerfell and one in Grindavik. And it gave us the opportunity to measure this. The bigger one, the earlier one that erupted, 900 meters into our estimate. And the smaller one, which actually touched the Grindavik and is now in the lava flow. The tongues of it are in the Grindavik the streets is 100 meters. So it may erupt more. We may have more uh, lava, more fissures erupting. At the moment, the volcano has reached equilibrium. But as previously I've shown, the lithosphere in this area has undergone a lot of flexure due to the uh, tidal effect of the moon and the sun. And it's a lot of cracks in that area, opening of the Atlantic Ocean, uh, opening of the ground, this rift forming there, are all uh, background for another eruption. This is Iceland in the middle of the ocean, a miracle of geology in that area. It may erupt more, we will see more uh, fissures opening up, and some of it will be inside the Grindavik probably. Why the volcano can't erupt? We know that the tremors are continuing in the Reckoness Peninsula, especially around the Swartzengi Sundunka craters. We see the pattern is a loose pattern. It is not like the eruption times we saw in the Fegredesvio or Little Khotro or the earlier eruption of the Sundunka. We see that it, it, uh, this pattern repeats every six hours. We know that in that area we have cracks in the ground. This is the mid-Atlantic ridge having grabbins, faults forming, uh, and these faults, uh, which are normal faults, are like a wave actually moving, flexing with something that is squeezing them. Like a toothpaste, they are being squeezed. And this squeezing of this uh, uh, flexure of, and flexure of the ground creates this pattern. It rises the ground, sinks slightly, rises, sinks, sinks. We can see through the tremors, the depth of the tremors. We can see inside the earth. Something is rising, rising and pulsating at the same time. This is probably the lava opening up the fault lines as it goes and then rising slightly, getting it squeezed upward. It may be related to the diurnal pattern of the sun and the moon creating every six hour tide on the earth. This is a mathematical model. We have to study it carefully. It's, it's mostly beyond the geologist knowledge, but there must be a pattern that is related to the moon and sun gravitational pull and flexure of the lithosphere creating this pattern. We are lucky that in the Reckoness Peninsula, we have an east-west direction that we can actually see this pattern forming in that area and there is an eruption possible but just we need enough squeeze to actually rise up the magma like the toothpaste to the surface and then we will have eruption like what we saw in the Fegredesville 
This is one of the earliest stages of the fake radioactive eruption. You can see that it's a tiny volcano in the old scale of it, but it was dramatic. You could see the magma forming, boiling, creating lava, and spreading to the surface. This is the Mid-Atlantic region. This is the way all the uh, Mid-Oceanic regions around the world actually operate. I think that this volcano will erupt, but not at this stage. This is just squeezing up the magma upward.